Hi everyone, and welcome to another Doctor Who figure review by me, Super Hamster. And as you can see, today I'm reviewing the Invasion of Time set. So this set consists of Leela. This is the second variant of Leela. Obviously, before we had the Face of Evil Leela, and quite recently we had the Image of the Fendal Leela, which has the same costume, but the hair is different. Um, and also in this set is the third Sontaran to be released, and it is Commander Store. Um, as you can see at their feet, there is the DMAT gun, which goes with the fourth Doctor. So it's not an accessory for either of the figures, it is for the fourth Doctor, which uh, has only been seen before in the Time Monster set, where it came with an accessory for the third Doctor. So... I'm going to start by reviewing Leela and then Commander Store. Okay, so here is the Leela figure. Um, this is probably my second favourite version of Leela. Uh, I really like the Leela from The Face of Evil. I really like the clothes she has on that story. Uh, although this version of Leela is really nice as well. Um, I'm surprised at how much I like it. I didn't think I would like it as much as I do. But it is really, really nice. So, I'm going to start by taking a look at the head sculpt. So, as you can see, it looks an awful lot like Leela. It's been made really, really nicely. You can tell straight away who it is. The hair has been sculpted really, really nicely. Um, I love the way it has been sculpted. It looks fantastic. Um, I just don't like the way they've painted it. It looks very, very, very greasy. And on camera it looks really shiny, but it isn't too bad. Uh, it, it could be better, but I've seen worse. So then she has the beige and brown necklace. Then now the clothes. So she basically has a beige tank top on with little markings across the stomach there. It's really nice. And then she has a beige skirt on. She has armbands with arrows on, which are nice details uh, on the back. It is just the skirt and the tank top, pretty basic. Nothing to say there. She has a pocket on the side. Um, the legs, nothing to say about them. And then the boots there are a brown a light brown colour, um, they've been sculpted really nicely and there's quite a lot of detail on them. So then she also comes with her knife accessory which fits into her hand really nicely and then there is the slot that the knife goes into and it does just fit in really nicely so the knife comes out and slots in there no problem. So there is one slight problem with my Leela. As you can see there, that the hand has not been painted. So I'm a bit disappointed with that, but it could be worse. But all in all, it is a really nice figure, uh, nicely detailed. It looks a lot like Leela. Um, so now to show you the articulation, so the head does not do a 360 because of the hair. Then, like more and more classic series figures now, the arms are ball jointed so they go out 90 degrees, uh, they do a 360 all the way around, the biceps do a 360, articulation at the elbow and 360 at the hand, the waist does a 360 there, articulation at the knees and a 360 at the boots. So it is a nice variant of Leela. Um, that's about it really. So now to show you Commander Store. Okay, so here is Commander Store. So this is the third classic series Sontaran to be released. Um, in my opinion, it is the best one. I think it is absolutely fantastic. It is really, really great. 
Uh, in the show, The Invasion of Time, the makeup that the Sontaran had on, Commander Store, was really poor. But as a figure, it looks absolutely brilliant. Um, I mean, look at that face. It is just really, really nice. You've got the black around the eyes. Then you've got the black wash on top of the skin. Looks absolutely brilliant. It's been sculpted really, really nicely. On the back and on the sides as well, it's got that black wash, which just looks absolutely brilliant. So I really, really like this Sontaran. So if I was to compare him, sorry, to Lynx, who is here, as you can see, first of all, the colour of the skin is a lot lighter on Commander Store compared to Lynx. Uh, the he is a little bit taller actually than Lynx. Um, then you have the clothes, which are exactly the same except for the belt and obviously the neck bit part there. Um, the belt on store is better in my opinion so you have the silver belt with two devices one there which looks really nice and two there compared to Lynx who only has the one there so then you get to the legs and boots so the legs and boots on store are a lot better because they are accurate they are the Sontaran boots, and like these are just ordinary boots, and aren't actually the ones that are worn in the show. So, all in all, uh, I really like Commander Store. Uh, it is a brilliant figure. Um, he obviously comes with his accessory there. Um, so for the helmet now so the helmet just slots on quite nice quite easily sorry um, it's not the same mechanism as it was on the previous Sontarans it goes on a lot easier now just like that and it looks really great so for the articulation the arms are not ball jointed like Leela but they do do a 360 then 360 at the biceps, elbow articulation, and 360 at the hands, 360 at the waist, knee articulation, and no arti articulation, sorry, at the ankles. So that's it for Commander Store. Okay, so just before I end this review, I am going to show you the D mat gun used by the fourth doctor. So it is really nice, really nicely sculpted, never been seen before. As you can see at the end, it has a transparent point, then is silver up until the three tubes that are here, which are transparent. And then the rest of the gun is all silver with a black bit on top. So it fits into the doctor's hand really nicely, and it is quite a nice accessory to have. So all in all, this set is really great. Um, it is actually quite rare now, this set. It's sold out really quickly. Um, obviously, I got this set off of Sci-Fi Collector for £19.99, which is a fantastic price. Um, I really love this set. It is really nice. I'm surprised at how much I like it. Because I only really bought it because of the price if not I wouldn't have bought it and it is actually well worth 26 99 which was the original price definitely worth that amount of money because it is a fantastic set so that's it for this review um, my next review will either be the 1988 Remembrance of the Dalek set with Davros and the destroyed Imperial Dalek or the Seeds of Doom set, which consists of the Fourth Doctor and a Crinoid. So, thanks for watching guys, and see you soon.